Hi, welcome to another flute review where we're going to be taking a closer look at one of the flutes from my collection. This flute is a David Night Eagle flute made from Eastern Red Aromatic Cedar. It is uh, a two-piece routed design, and it has some pretty intricate work done on the turning of the flute. It does appear that it was turned on a lathe for the outside. Has a very, very high and fairly deep chimney. The flue is in the flute body. The true sound hole is about a quarter inch wide and long. It's almost square. The bore is kind of an unusual size to me. It looks to be about 13 sixteenths of an inch, very slightly off center when compared to the outside of the flute. The breath hole is 3 sixteenths of an inch in diameter. Has kind of a tapered a combination of kind of a tapered and uh, nipple style mouthpiece. So kind of a, a neat design there. And it isn't quite tuned to a regular key, I would say. I don't know if it's because of the block. Um, He has two very different style of blocks on his flutes. And this particular block positioned just right will help make the flute warble a little bit. And I'm going to try and demonstrate that. This is what I would call a mild warbling flute. To get a flute like this to warble, the block has to be positioned just right and it relies on your breath pressure to get just to that right point where it's just before it wants to break to the higher octave and then it starts kind of the sound kind of vacillates in between the lower and higher octave. It's the best way I can try to describe that. Let's give it a try. The first will be with no effects, and then later on I'll add some reverb. So that oscillation on that last note, that's the warble. That is what a warbling flute will do. It wasn't my breath trying to cause a vibrato effect. Um, I was breathing steadily into the flute. So that's what a warbling flute does. It only occurs on, in most cases, vast majority of cases, the lowest note.
pretty much no matter what I do on the other notes, they won't warble. Just that lowest note. Pretty cool. Um, with this not being tuned exactly to a modern 440 hertz type of a key, this is, I think, kind of in between a G and a F sharp, if I remember correctly. Um, I can play it with drums or percussion, things like that. I can't play it with some of my other instruments unless I try to uh, tune a guitar to this or re recalibrate maybe a, an electronic keyboard or something like that. But anything that is tuned to standard pitch, concert pitch, if you will, will I will not be able to play this flute with that and make it sound in tune. That said, it's it's a very nice flute. It it has a little bit of a mellower type tone. Um which I enjoy. Um and that has to do mainly with the sound making mechanism here on how that's made. And it, it can lead to a very, very nice kind of a meditative type sound. had to clear out a little bit of moisture from the flu. It has a fairly shallow flu depth. And now I'll add some reverb. Cool flutes. If you haven't tried a warbling flute, they're hard to find. Some flute makers strive to not get that inconsistency in tone. Some flute makers, uh, by moving the block just right, if they have a chimney 
and a higher chimney helps lend itself to allowing the flute to warble more than one that is shorter, at least in my limited experience. They're a fun flute to experiment with and play and kind of get used to where that sweet spot lies in getting that warble to sound. Some of the older traditional flute makers, if their flute did not warble, it was not an acceptable flute to them. Kind of an interesting fact that I found um, in my little bit of research. So David Knight Eagle, many of his flutes didn't have this type of block and they weren't designed to warble. And I'm kind of wondering on this particular one if it had one of his more traditional blocks which looked a little bit more like an a, a older style traditional bird type block. I'm wondering if this would be more in tune because raising that chimney and creating a deep chimney lowers the pitch a little bit. So I'm wondering if this would be a G flute if I used more of a standard block. That could be a possibility. And he might have offered this style of block to people looking for a warbling flute. Um, I, haven't, I haven't done a lot of research on that. And I don't know that his flutes are available anymore. I do know some, some flutes that I have from other makers. John Norris is one in particular that makes a warbling flute. Um, I'll put some other things in down in the description box below this if you're interested in warbling flutes. Um, I'll try and find a couple more makers. I know that a very, very few of the uh, wood sounds flutes have been able to be a uh, warbling flute. Um, John Norris, quite often his will warble. Again, getting that position, that block position just right and breath control has a huge amount to do with that. Warbling flute. This one from David Knight Eagle. Beautiful, mellow sound with a mild warble. Thank you for tuning in, watching this flute review. Other dimensions and things will be down in the description box below. I don't want to bore you too much with that verbally on this. You can, if you're interested, you can find that below. It does have kind of a dropped nest. Um, beautiful workmanship. And I'm the bore is almost, as I mentioned, it's a little bit off center. So the wall thickness isn't exact all the way around. Um, but besides the bore being a little off center, workmanship is beautiful. Very, very well crafted flute. Um, it looks to be a very uh, it kind of a matte semi-gloss finish and I'm guessing it's kind of an oil type finish on here. It could be like a wipe on varnish too. One of those two. Thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. Click the little bell right down over there so that you are aware the next time I post a video. Could be a flute review. It could be taking a first look at a flute that I just receive. Could be a music video where the Native American style flute plays kind of the center point of my music. Could be solo, it could be with other instruments as well, if warranted. It could be a flute playing tutorial on how to play these wonderful instruments. 
They're easy in their initial uh, form, a basic pentatonic scale. Minor is what most people use these for. You can also play the relative major. You can also, with some finger exercises um, or gymnastics, you can play a couple of different major scales on this and some other scales as well. They can be as easy or as complicated as you want your music to be on a Native American style flute. Thanks again for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. Take care.